Good evening. Um, I wanted to let you know the mighty power of God. We don't need weapons of any kind. Not guns, not anything. I'm going to be in Joshua 6, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thine hand Jericho. And the king therefore, and the mighty men of valor, and ye shall compass the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once thou shalt do six days. And seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns, and the seventh day ye shall compass the city seven times. Go around the city seven times. And the priest shall blow the trumpets with the trumpets, and it shall come to pass that when they make long blasts with the ram's horns, and when ye hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall with great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. You see, the city of Jericho came tump the walls of the city of Jericho came tumbling down because the people were obedient to God. God told them, go compass, go, go, go around the city seven times, seven days in a row. And they did. They circled compass, it says, and the seventh day ye shall compass the city even to seven times, and the priest shall blow with the trumpets. And it says, All the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat. Do you understand the power of God? Because these people were obedient. God said, Look, Go around the city of Jericho seven times. Seven times every day. For seven days, go around the city of Jericho seven times. And they did. And then they blew their horns, the trumpets, and the walls of Jericho came tumbling down. There was no weapon. There was no firearms. There were no swords. Nothing. It was their simple obedience to God to do exactly as he told them to do. He said, go around the city of Jericho seven days in a row, once a day. And then blow the horns, the trumpets, and the walls will, be, will come tumbling down. And they did. You see, you need to know the power of mighty God and Jesus in us, the Holy Spirit. People, we've been told over and over and over again to trust God with all of your heart, mind, and soul, and spirit. Why aren't we doing that? We need to do that. We need to listen. We need to pay attention to what the Word is telling us. It's not saying, okay, a whole army, go get weapons, go get whatever, and let's kill the people. They didn't even hurt the people. Do you understand? God's power is so massive that all we have to do is be obedient. And the walls will come tumbling down. And we will be protected from all angles.
from the back, from the front, from the side, from above, from below. Do you understand how mighty his word is and his power? Doesn't he tell us to, to, to cast Satan out of the way? He says, Satan, get ye behind thee and get away from me, for you are under my feet. He ha Satan has no power over us. If we don't have Satan in us, then Satan is not, can't do anything. He can't. People, you need your faith. The Holy Spirit, when you receive the baptism of Holy Spirit, one, one of the fruits is faith, self-control, long-suffering, love, peace, joy. Don't forget that the Holy Spirit brings with him the fruits of the Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit. Do you understand? They're powerful in us. We have to get right with our heart and ask God to get rid of all the junk and all the stuff that's in us, whether it's pride, unbelief, bitterness, whatever it may be. Ask him, Lord, get it out of me. Whatever is inside of me that is not of you, dissolve it, get rid of it. And Father God, Holy Spirit, please manifest my gifts in me. Please ask him. Ask him to make you ready to receive, and his gifts will manifest in you. I promise. I promise. Okay, so here, the city of Jericho, God instructed them to go around the city one time, once a day for seven days. And the walls came tumbling down at the trumpet call. Who's the trumpet call? God. All right. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later.